How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some creepy footage that is starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. At the East Coast radio station in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, a DJ named Sershin became the subject of a rather chilling video. The DJ, who hosts a popular late night show at the radio station, works from a closed off booth and is usually the only person in the studio. However, one night his lonely night shift turned into a terrifying ordeal when someone or something was seen walking through the halls. The footage shows the DJ sitting in his desk when suddenly the entire studio is enveloped in darkness. Sershin quickly picks up the phone to call someone who may know more about the power outage. As he speaks to his colleague, something eerie happens just outside the studio's window. In the brightly lit hallway, we see a mysterious figure in a black cloak walk slowly past the window. Used to working alone and most likely a little spooked by the power outage, Sershin goes to the window to investigate. However, the figure seems to have disappeared. To make the video even creepier, the area where the studio is located is tightly secured at all times. Any employees wishing to enter the area have to scan their fingerprints at the entrance to gain access, and only authorised people are allowed in. The fingerprint scans are then recorded. On the night in question, the only print recorded in the system was Sertian's. No one else had entered the studio all night. So who or what was the mysterious cloaked figure? A ghost perhaps? The star for the East Coast radio station has no idea. This chilling video was uploaded to Rob Freeman UFO World Explorer's YouTube channel in July of 2017. The footage was shot near the Stormus Chief Mountain in Squamish, British Columbia, Canada. Often referred to as the Chief, this mountain is one of the largest granite monoliths in the world and the site of numerous paranormal sightings. Among the sightings, several residents have reported seeing bizarre balls of light floating in the sky near the chief. Freeman and his team of investigators decide to attempt to capture the phenomenon on film, and shortly after dark, the crew managed to capture a glimpse of a ball of light using their camera's night vision. I got it. Oh. According to the crew, the orb was huge and yellowish white in colour. The footage shows the orb moving in a perfectly straight line above the mountain. The light quickly travels into the woods, illuminating the surrounding trees before disappearing from view. Oh. It's in the woods. Yeah. Subsequent research performed by the crew showed that the International Space Station would not have been in the correct location to cause the light. The team also noted that it was unlikely to have been a plane, as the lion seemed to make no noise whatsoever as it moved above the treetops. Many attribute the strange sightings to the fact that the chief has significant spiritual meaning to the Squamish, the indigenous people of the area. They believe that the orbs that have been spotted near the mountain may be spirits that are attempting to make their presence known. As with most unidentified lights spotted in the sky, it's been suggested that this ball of light could be some sort of alien spacecraft that is inexplicably drawn to the area. So what do you think? Could this mysterious ball have been extraterrestrial in origin? Or is it more likely to be spiritual in nature? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. No list of chilling videos would be complete without a cursed doll caught moving on camera. This clip uploaded to MBJ Report's YouTube channel shows an heirloom that has become the centre of a bizarre family mystery, centuries in the making. According to the doll's owner, it's been in the family for over 400 years. It originated in either England or Germany and has been passed down to various family members ever since. In the video's description, the owner also suggests that their aunt gave him the doll. She seemed to be very glad to get rid of it. As it turns out, it wasn't long before the new owner discovered why. If you watch the footage closely, you can see that the doll's mouth slowly closes. 
Shortly after, a puppy appears that seems oddly preoccupied with the Nutcracker doll. The canine must sense that something strange is happening, as a few seconds later, the doll slowly begins to rotate itself away from the camera. This creepy footage seems to solve the mystery of why the previous family members have been so eager to pass the doll on. However, the exact cause of the Nutcracker's strange movements have yet to be discovered. Perhaps the spirit of a long deceased family member has attached itself to the doll, so they could keep an eye on later generations. This video, uploaded to YouTube by Thomas Ajit, shows a group of friends driving through the Nandi Hills in Karnataka, India. Surely not expecting to see anything too strange as they make their way to the top of the infamous incline, what they actually captured on camera that night is truly shocking. Nandi Hills is an ancient hill fortress built by the Ganga dynasty. Prisoners are said to have been thrown to their death from an area known as Tipu's Drop, a site that is now popular with tourists, mostly for its breathtaking sunrises. Unfortunately, the area is also known for being the site of frequent accidents. A simple Google search shows that the location has seen more than its fair share of disasters over the years. Indian news outlets regularly report injuries and deaths in the area, typically the result of violent car crashes or climbing accidents. No one is sure why Nandi Hills is such a dangerous spot for visitors. However, this footage may be one piece of the puzzle. When the group reaches the top of the hill, they notice a mysterious figure standing atop a fence at the edge of the hill. The figure is clad in a flowing white garment that covers it from head to toe. As the group approaches the figure, it suddenly leaps from the fence and disappears into the darkness. Some viewers believe that the video is fake, showing an ordinary person covered in a sheet. However, Nandi Hills reaches an impressive height of 1,478 metres, which is around 4,849 feet at the top of the hill, where the footage was supposedly captured. A person jumping from this height couldn't do so without sustaining serious injuries. This has led many to suggest that the figure seen in this video could actually be a ghost. <laughs> While no one knows who or what this strange figure is for certain, some speculate that it could be responsible for the hill's chilling reputation. Unfortunately, without further information, this video will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. Most chilling videos seem to be recorded at night. However, this footage, uploaded to YouTube by Nico V, shows that occasionally creepy things can also be caught on camera during the daytime. In this shaky video clip, the cameraman zooms in on a nearby building. It quickly becomes apparent that they're attempting to capture the strange movements of two figures on the rooftop, who appear to be wearing large flowing cloaks. Some viewers have suggested that they could simply be maintenance workers. However, what they're wearing seems far too unusual to be work attire. In addition, the figures don't appear to have normal body shapes. They have small heads and their necks are far longer than that of an average human. Since the video first surfaced online, several theories have developed attempting to explain the strange figures. Some claim they could be vampires, while others believe their bizarre body shape could be a sign that they're actually aliens. Some viewers have even noted their similarities to Slender Man, the tall, thin, supernatural entity known for terrorizing those unlucky enough to have spot him. So what do you think? Could these figures really be something supernatural? Or is there another explanation for their bizarre clothing and strange movements? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at some striking footage that was captured in New Zealand, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that bell icon there. That way you'll be notified every single time we upload our scary and mysterious videos. 
In this video uploaded to the YouTube channel Celestial Insights, a New Zealand woman's attempt to film a satellite falling from the sky takes a very bizarre turn. The footage now seems to have many viewers contemplating the question, are we truly alone in the universe? As the space debris falls through the Earth's atmosphere, it leaves behind a trail of fire and smoke that resembles the tail of a comet. However, as the satellite descends, another object suddenly appears in the sky. The UFO moves in from the right side of the screen and seems to pass through the trail of smoke. The dark, oblong-shaped object moves at an incredible speed, making it almost invisible to the naked eye. However, when the footage is slowed down and the colour is enhanced, you can see the strange craft rather clearly. To make the video even more compelling, the UFO then appears to briefly interact with the tail of the satellite before ascending back into the sky. In terms of it occurring. So far, there's been no earthly explanation for this chilling footage. The UFO seems to move too fast to be anything made by humans, which has led many to speculate that the mysterious object could in fact be an alien craft. If you want to see some more freaky videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a scary playlist right there that you can binge on for hours and hours. Now, if you want to get your name scrolling along the top there, consider supporting our Patreon campaign. There's a link in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 